down. Ooh, that's much better. I like that stuff. I like that how gently you put it down. As you go back, you can do a little bit of a change in the finger animation. Like by now, the pinky might be up and then you know be curled so the fingers are straightest and the rest starts to curl up. There may be a bit of a change in the thumb. So that you have a bit more of a contrast of this. These feel a bit too similar, like your pose is two twins. So you would have this arm maybe. And I like this arm up because it separates it from this plate. So you can say up here, and then this arm might be there. Different finger pose than this, you know, different orientation so that the angle is different. It's for asymmetry. But that take is cute. And you get a little bit of anticipation there. Nice, you go down, shoulders down, <gasps> go up, that's cool, just offset, you know, like one arm comes up before the other one. Uh, this feels a bit simple, where it's just a kind of a rotation in Y. I like that the head leads, but when she's like this, and she turns, you could have, you would need to ease into this a bit more. She could have a bit of a lean over, so that, you know, she's kind of afraid, or, you know, she's just kind of leaning away from whatever is happening over here. Um, are, her eyes can dart a bit more towards the end. The eyebrows can do a little bit of raise and hold. With this one a bit higher, so you have that opening here. Bit of a change in the in the mouth shape. And don't forget an arc. Like this is a straight turn. Arcs, arcs, arcs. Otherwise, it would be so much, so much of an F in the class. Arcs. Even in a quick blocking like this, you've got to put in arcs. And then when you go back here, it feels not enough in here. It's a big turn that doesn't really affect the chest. So, you know, so when you're up here and she's leaning a bit this way, and then she goes this way, then you can straighten to what you have here with a bit of a turn here. And then with that, you know, she's getting more determined. Then you can have that lean forward a bit. So you have a, a nice progression. Um, this feels a bit swimmy, like you had the, hit this pose and it's kind of, you know, kind of just droops into this. And then you have IK arms, right? Because I see a lot of chest movement, but the arm is kind of almost frozen in space. So if you do this, you're going to have to move your arms with the body a bit more. That would be a good offset pose silhouette wise. So you don't form a tangent right there. So you would have that arm out and the hand could be here, whatever pose you have. And then that way you can bring it back. So when she when she clenches it, your arm goes from up here to here, and from here to here, right? So whenever you have an emotion change or kind of a body pose change or something, you can like an, an overall change in her thought process or emotion. You can kind of reflect that in her posing. Uh, this guy. Oh, that. This drifts a bit. His hands. I would go. <gasps> When she goes that, maybe bring up the fingers a bit so they're a bit tighter. She's kind of like, what? And then hold them so that she doesn't drift. So that's that would be stickier. Uh, again, you got to rotate those eyelids. You still have those eyelids here. You got to flatten these guys. And if I think it's a bit too early how you're already in that worried pose. I will keep it maybe like that so that when she goes, oh, you can bring them up a bit more into that. Has one shape there. And since she's kind of looking, you could probably raise the lower lids a tiny bit so that when you do this, then they're open the way they are now. And don't forget to offset things. So right now, I mean, there's a little bit of offset, I guess, in the lids starting first, but then this feels all at the same time. So to me, it would be she's looking. I would do maybe like one dart over. She's processing stuff, realize what's going on, which means. Uh, eyebrows go up first, that pull, then the lids. And maybe three frames later, you have her lips that kind of soften. They don't they don't feel so squished. Then she's going to move her head forward, and then that's going to pull her body forward, and that's the last thing that's going to move. And during all this, it feels like pretty much of a forward translate. And you can have with this, maybe she can straighten her head or maybe she can be in this slightly more straight and then when you go forward she's in this position so you go from from like this to this 
Again, so you have contrast and movement that the head is doing something, not just translating forward. So you have a bit of a, a little bit of a Y maybe, but definitely a bit more of a tilt. Alrighty, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.